Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to What's in the Box. Here we are again with something rather large today. Like it's a long, long form thing, just so you can see my hand like only just about takes up one half of it. It's quite a big box that has come today. But I think I know what's in it and I think it's probably pretty badly packaged but it's funny because it was really cheap to get this. But anyway, enough about that. There's no coffee today but I'm going to get right in and open this up as quick as possible. So here we are ladies and gents. Simon the Sorcerer and Simon the Sorcerer 2 PC Big Box video games. Now, before I go, in, I go into a little bit of an explanation about what this game is, I just need to explain that this game is a game from the 90s, the early 90s. It's a point and click game that came out in the early 90s. And of course, when it was released originally, it would have came in big boxes quite like this. But the company AdventureSoft, their logo is there. They have a site, their internet site basically, where they have a store. And on their store, you can still buy what seems to me to be old stock point and click big boxes for Simon the Sorcerer 1 and 2. To me that's just absolutely bizarre. This is new old stock. Or else like the boxes are in reasonably good condition. These could also just be new reprintings of the boxes. Um, like for instance the cardboard is quite a lot thinner than what I'm used to with bigger big boxes. But the other thing is he's selling them, whoever's selling them, AdventureSoft, whoever's still at the company selling these games, is selling them for really cheap. They're just a tenner each, you know, 20 quid. You get brand new big boxes of Simon the Sorcerer. It's just so bizarre. Now, I do actually have my original copies. When I heard about this, that they're selling big boxes in 2018, still brand new off your site, I just had to get it. I had, to, I, had to, I had to get them. They're, they're, that's so cool and it's a great game as well. So Simon the Sorcerer is a point and click adventure game and the best way to describe it, the easiest way to describe it is you play the titular character Simon and you want to be a sorcerer. It's basically Monkey Island except for witches and wizards. He just, he's like, my name is Simon and I want to be a sorcerer. That's pretty much it and they kind of take the piss out of it stuff like that in the game. Now I'm gonna just, we're gonna look at them separately, we're gonna unbox them together. Um, the guy who actually does the voice of Simon as well, quite interestingly, is the guy who, he's in Red Dwarf, that guy there, he's in Red Dwarf and he's also plays Lara Croft's butler in the 2001, I think it's 2001, Tomb Raider film with Angelina Jolie. He voices Simon's character, it's a British made game. I just still can't get over it though. Brand new big boxes, and these are Windows 95 compatible versions as well, like, it's just bizarre. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the back there. And it's a really cool little game. Very, very hard as far as point and click games go. Now, they are quite light, as I said. The cardboard seems, like, I wonder is the guy who works there, or, who, or girls, or people who still work there, I wonder are they just like slaving away every day making these boxes or they're just there's one guy and he's sending them out because like it was packaged it wasn't packaged in a box or anything special like that but it's just so funny as you can see it's a completely empty box I got nothing no <laughs> so we got my receipt there that I ordered from AdventureSoft as you can see 23 pounds basically 24 pounds for postage and packaging to get these two games here. You get the game on just a CD in a sleeve, no fancy box or anything like that. That's fair enough, I'm, I'm okay with that because I do have nice enough boxes for them. And Windows 95 CD and then you get installation <coughs> instructions. Yeah, AdventureSoft Publishing and they're still going. It's so strange. And then we get just a product guide from AdventureSoft by Simon the Sorcerer 3D. It's a notoriously poor point and click game, Simon the Sorcerer 3D. It's just because they're they're still, like, still selling them new as if you're buying this game, as if people are buying this game all the time, you know? It's so weird. So there's this Simon the Sorcerer 1. We'll just take a quick look at Simon the Sorcerer 2. 
great box art on this as well. You've got like wizards there. I think that's the bad guy in this game. And sadly, the guy who voiced Simon in the first game didn't return to do it again. So Simon the Sorcerer 2, the Lion, the Wizard and the Wardrobe. And we've got a Pirate there. Now, somebody reckoned that these are repros because the original Simon the Sorcerer 2 had a different picture up here in this area of the box. So that's why some people reckon that they are just reproductions of the original boxes. They do feel it as well, like as I said, the cardboard, as far as like my knowledge of the cardboards that are usually in big boxes, these are a lot thinner. So it does seem like they're just trying to make them on the cheap maybe and sell them on. Or they could have just been reproductions from the 2000s or something like that. So there we go, we'll have a quick look at some screenshots there. Meet old friends. Hobble bubble, toilet trouble. <laughs> Very good, is there a toilet there? Yeah, there is. Uh... So we'll just open this one up and I feel, I, I feel I am aware that this is as, yeah, bare bones as the other one as well. So literally, just the same thing, installation instructions, a Simon the Sorcerer 2 disc, disc for Windows 95, and again, the same product guide that we had in the other box. So, that's it really, there's not much more to say about these, other than, as I said, I just can't reiterate how bizarre it is that these came out. I really, I really want to know, is it the guy who came up with the original game? I wonder if he's still there and just like, he sits in his office every day and he's got piles of these boxes from back in the day and he's just sending them out to the world for like a really reasonable price. 20 quid for two brand new big box games and luckily they made it over as well. Like they weren't, as I said, they weren't packaged in a big box or anything. There's some scuffing on the corner and things, but uh, there's no crushing, luckily. And uh, they're only over the pond for me, so they came quite quickly as well, kind of within, within a week if you're in Europe, I believe, or two weeks is what they kind of say. Absolutely bizarre, brilliant. But anyway, ladies and gents, that is Simon the Sorcerer 1 and Simon the Sorcerer 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe and let me know if you've ever played Simon the Sorcerer before. So thank you very much and goodbye.